welcome to Thursday. In a week where so far nothing has been going according to plan. I will tell you a little bit more about my hectic week later on today, but I wasn't even planning to be in the boutique today. I thought I was going to be done with work here and I could go to the cottage and spend the day. But we're going to get visits today from both FedEx, DHL and UPS. So I will probably have to be here until like 4 o'clock and it's like half past 8. I'm going to start this day by packing some orders and then I hope that we can end the day in the cottage because yesterday was my one year anniversary of owning it. I got the keys on the 11th of May last year. So that's the only lucky thing there's been for me this week. It's been raining for the past few days so the garden has been able to just like water itself. Um, and that's been amazing while I've been really busy but I miss my garden and I want to go back today. have four more orders to pack but I need for DHL to stop by before I can do that so I think I'm going to sit down do some computer work I might take some studio pictures of some earrings including the ones that I'm wearing these big floral ones um, and yeah just try to be productive in the waiting game because I think this is gonna be a waiting day this is so exciting that I just want to share it with you guys because there is one aspect of on the webshop that I've been really unhappy with for a long time and that was the size of the product pictures. So I finally got them updated and now they are much bigger as you can see here. So it feels like scrolling through a gallery and it's so so much easier to see all of the details on the garments and I just love it. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Let me know what you think. I'm really happy with the updates. I have just popped on a cute outfit to shoot on the street because I'm so fortunate that now when all of the leaves are back, I can just pop up the stairs, walk about 10 meters to the left, and then I can stand under these like beautiful trees taking a few pictures and keep an eye on any delivery guy that might drop by while I'm out. Um, so it's it's a lovely spot. It's just a little bit awkward because it's a really busy street. So I keep being like people staring at me. This is the spot. So you can see there is quite a few cars and bikes going by, but it's gorgeous. UPS has just dropped off these boxes that I'm really thrilled to open. In this first box, I have some new summer hats for the web shop. I've been wanting to have something like some accessories to shoot with all of the boho dresses, so I got some beautiful straw ish hats. And there's this one that's cute. I really like how my hair is at the minute, so I'm not going to take it down right now, but that's beautiful. 
I want to shoot that later today in the cottage, I think. And under that, we have a new bag because I would also love to have some bags. I think this one is really cute. It's going to go with a lot of styles and it's super like earthy, cute. And I would love to keep one of these myself. I think it's so cool to do. Super 70s. It has a zipper. That's just gonna be such a nice summer bag. It's now a quarter past two. FedEx has been here. We're gonna open up the package tonight. Really exciting one. DHL has just been here with the last package I needed. So now I can get the last orders packed, shipped out, and we can go to the cottage soon. My boyfriend also came by like an hour ago. He passed his driver's license today and he was really excited he's 29 this year better late than ever i mean i took my driver's license when i was 25 so yeah this box was one out of four and it went missing on the way here so i have some orders on these jackets in size large and extra large that i'm gonna pack and ship out to the lovely customers so so amazing to ship out these they just feel so personal and magical exciting package we're gonna open tonight and all orders are now shipped out to Australia, Austria, Germany, Spain, Finland, the United States, Denmark so thank you guys so much for your orders I am going to get changed now and um, head to the cottage I need to wear something warmer I've had bare legs all day um, so something with a sweater, it's pretty windy. I'm going to do a declutter of my wardrobe soon. This is one of the sweaters I've already decided I'm going to declutter because I have so many. It's really pretty though. If anyone is interested, pop me a message on Instagram. It's black on the back. It's a comfy size small. We've had quite a weather change, unfortunately. There isn't much left of the sun by now. But I've just realized that my apple tree is starting to bloom. Beautiful small flowers. And something I didn't remember from last year is that I have a purple sirene in my garden. I barely remember that from last year, but that's lovely and it's actually quite a big tree. Just look at them, so beautiful. I love these ones, they're so gorgeous. The wildflowers I planted in my baskets are starting to come up. Here comes the sun, doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the sun and I say, stay with me. If you look very closely to the ground here, you can also see small signs of wildflowers popping up here. My flowers from back home up there, they're actually doing much better than I expected. So uh, I think they're gonna look good. This beauty I got for my birthday, she's looking amazing. She's going to be so, so beautiful by the time that she's going to bloom. And her sister up there is also looking great. Two weeks since I put bulbs under the ground and did the flower ocean. And looking at it today, I must admit that I don't really know if it's 
like spruces I see coming up or if it's just weeds so we are going to leave it and cross our fingers hope for the best and I also just realized that I have a small tree here surprises surprises Unfortunately, my cherry tree does not look particularly happy. I think she needs to get used to the ground here and just like settle in because for now she is shedding all of her leaves, which I don't think she's supposed to be already. Or maybe it is, I don't know. I must admit that right now it feels like it's 100% certain that we're gonna get some rain. I've had these four amazing boho dresses hanging here for like a week and a half. I thought they should just stay here so that I could come back and take some more pictures in the garden one day. And that was what I thought we were going to do today. So that's why I brought the new hats, the two new bags, a cardigan, a kimono. That was like the plan, but the weather is not really supportive. I even feel like it might be too windy to take just like flat lay product pictures. You know what? Luckily I have a really cute bed and I'm going to use that as a background. Take some pictures of the hat laying there. It's gonna look great. <laughs> but I wouldn't mind if something could go according to plan just one day <laughs> this is my new camera this is the reason why the first part of the week was super stressful because my old camera broke down and there were like a long story to that making it short i bought two cameras to find out that the first one wasn't suitable for the job that i needed it for I bought a second camera and then found out that I couldn't return the first camera because yada yada and that was stressful and then I found a solution it's been returned and I have one camera a new one an expensive one I need to make some money so let's take some pictures I think this is very cute I like it this hat is super cool but it's not weather to launch around in a dress so instead i think i'm going to throw some wildflower seeds finally here i've managed to fill up the hole much faster than i thought and there is a lot of soil there and like grass so it should definitely be possible to use this mixture I got for my birthday I'm just going to throw that out water it and we just got a peek at the Sun again for a second enjoy it close your eyes enjoy the Sun Those bags were very small, not enough. We need more, more flowers. I've been getting so many questions lately about getting a hose for the garden. I do have one that I use, so don't worry. I don't just go back and forth 100 times. It's 10 o'clock at night. I have spent some time sleeping on the couch. And now we have a package to open and I also have a bit of explaining to do because I feel like it's only fair that you have a sense of what's going on 
in my life especially to those of you who are who are patreons on my channel by the way i'm super grateful for that um it makes a huge difference as a content creator especially someone like me who doesn't take in that many sponsorships um yeah means a lot but i'm not feeling 100 percent and i haven't felt great for like a week or two and I still struggle figuring out what's going on because at times I get super duper scared that I'm either like facing some kind of like burned out situation or at times I can see that I have some stress symptoms that makes me super scared. Um, there is something like something going on and it might just be the fact that I haven't had a proper break since New Year's. I believe I took a little bit of time off then. But now for five months I've just been producing, producing, producing. YouTube, the web shop, products. Like just going 100 miles per hour and, and I can feel it. If I just go back to the drop that happened on the 2nd of May on my birthday, it was a Monday, already Tuesday I was prepping for the next drop, Friday, didn't have a day's rest, the weekend was scratched, I was not taking in time off, and I've been going actually every single day without a proper break since then, and I can just feel it. This video is kind of like me trying to save this week in a way. By the end of last week where my camera broke down, I had a total different plan for this week. I was going to film a one year updated cottage tour, looking at some of the things I've done and some of the things that I, we're going to work at this year and in the future. Um, but having a broken camera, not getting a new one until Tuesday already made me so behind on everything I needed to do for the drop that's going to happen tomorrow, Friday. So, <sighs> for not having proper content for you guys, I'm just so, so sorry. And I know that you will probably be much nicer to me than I am to myself. But I just feel so bad for not having a good video to show you. So I hope that you have enjoyed this vlog today. Um, and I hope that you can bear over with me if, if videos are a little bit slow over the next couple of weeks. Because as I'm feeling right now, I just... Um, my boyfriend and I have decided that we're going to take the weekend slow. So like Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we are not going to work. We're going to chill. We're going to go someplace and like... <sighs> so hopefully next week I'll feel much better. But it's just been really scary today. Like just feeling so weird in my emotions and my energy. And it's been like that for a few days. I'm rambling. I think we should open up this amazing package this does not look like much but it is a package from one of my favorite clothing brands um, they are in the price range like out of my league so that's why it makes me super excited to work with them I feel a little bit like I don't know like these are my kind of like Gucci or like yeah, if you're into those designer brands, like these people make me feel like that. So luxurious and I love their designs. Oh, my camera is um, battery splashing. I'm just going to change that. We are back. So, we are going to open up a package from Nido de Lida. And if you do not already follow them on Instagram, I think you should go do so. Their pictures are amazing. Their designs are amazing. I love them. So. They have managed to ship me this dress that is just amazing. 
Okay, we are just gonna take this first and end it off with the one that I'm like, oh, oh. I've got to pick out a few things from their new collection, um, or collections, maybe. So, um, this is all new designs from them. This is the first piece, a stunning kimono, beautiful print. This is the most colorful piece I've picked out of theirs. I think I'm gonna bring it on the break with my boyfriend, like the getaway this weekend. That would be so amazing to lounge around in that. Some really cool green trousers. I love this print. These are super bohemian, a little bit groovy. I hope, I hope they fit me. Like I have a pretty impossible body because my waist is quite small and my bum is... And I don't know what that was. And the last amazing piece here from the colorful pieces is this one. Also a stunning kimono with green sleeves, pink body. It is gonna be much easier to show you when I try it on. Oh my gosh. Okay, there are trousers here. Beautiful, shiny fabric. This is the matching blazer jacket. Oh my god, this is beautiful. So this is the back of it. It looks like this. It has the same details on the sleeves, like this sequence detailing, amazing. The lazy pearl and sequence details, they kind of remind me of like a whale. Isn't it called a whale that you wear for your wedding dress? A whale? A whale. <laughs> and the last one. It's a dress that I didn't think they were gonna be able to send me, but it looks like this. It has this amazing floral print. Just from that, I'm absolutely in love. But then it has fringes. This is the sleeve. Oh, I'm gonna wear this for the wedding in September, I think. And this is the bottom. I'm gonna get naked. I want to try it on. Whoa. The first outfit is on. The trousers, they fit me really well. It kind of looks like a skirt. They're so cool. And then this long kimono. I love the sleeves. It's just so, so beautiful. This is going to be just amazing to lounge around in this summer. Beautiful. Ta -da, pow. This one is also breathtaking. So, so beautiful. Love the colors. Can we see it from behind? It's super cool. And it does also match in the color scheme with the trousers so that I can use them here as well. I think this is super cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This beautiful champagne set definitely deserves a better lighting. Um, it's like not super flattering in this light but you can see some of the details here. And this is the back. Can you see that? I hope you can. It's stunning. Yeah, this is gonna look so, so beautiful in the lighting outside on a summer day. And last, but definitely not least, this amazing dress that is not suitable for a wedding, I think. Unless I want all of the attention because you can see it's pretty see-through. But look at the frills. It's going to be amazing to shoot. Like, I just imagine a sunset, the beach. Mm -hmm.